this too shall pass after a while scars will heal you'll love again and it won't hurt you after a while it won't hurt you after a while stuck between if and when you've prayed and tried but still no God's purpose soon you'll understand that it won't hurt, it won't hurt. you after a while it won't hurt you after a while after After a while, this too shall pass. After a while, scars will heal. You'll love again, and it won't hurt you after. It won't, hurt it won't hurt you after a while. Stuck between if and when you prayed and tried, prayed and tried. but still no end. God's purpose you'll understand that it won't hurt you after a while it won't hurt you after a while after a while after
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When I found myself in trouble, you are my lawyer. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When my money ran out, yeah. You are my provider. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody been sick in the building? You are my healer. Did he heal your body? Yeah. in my house. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When trouble came in my life, you are my lawyer. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yo, yeah, when my money is funny, yeah. You are my provider. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
his head. His head. And he, he died. died for the sins of the world. My Jesus, he bowed his head. Bowed his head. And he hung his head. Hung his head. He died. And he yeah. died. For the sins of What a powerful moment we have just witnessed. And the message is very simple. The Gospel of John, chapter 16, beginning at verse 16. It simply says, and in a little while, in a little while you will not see me. But then again, in a little while, you will see me. Turn to somebody and tell them, in a little while. Jesus. In a little while, confused the disciples because they didn't understand what he was talking about. We understand 2,000 years later what he was talking about. A little while means a short time. It wouldn't last long. A little while you will not see me means I'm going to die for you. But I will see you again means on the other side of the resurrection. But they was confused. They were bewildered. They didn't know what was going on. So Jesus overhearing that. That's what the text says. He says, are you asking or are you questioning or are you discussing what I meant when I said in a little while you will not see me. And again in a little while you will see me. He says, let me help you out. He says, you will be weeping and there will be mourning. Tell somebody, but it's for a little while. And at the same time, in your weeping and in your mourning, the world will be rejoicing. But tell somebody, it's a little while. Paul writes to the church at Rome in Romans 8, 18. He says, when I consider my present sufferings, it is not compared to the eternal yes. glory. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm coming to tell you today, even in the overflow, that whatever you're going through is only for a little while, but don't you dare. Don't you dare look at the world and think they got it better. There's no comparison when you're in Christ Jesus. Even their money they're rejoicing, they're partying without God is only for a little while. But your weeping, your mourning, your struggles, everything you're going through, you ought to encourage somebody, it's only for a And then he says, and then he says, and then he says, well, let me say this, he says, he says what's going to happen is that you're going to experience sorrow. You're going to experience some stressful times. You're going to experience some depression. You may be smiling on the outside, but you're hurting on the inside. Your, your, your relationship's going to go through. Your, your marriage's going to go through. Your, your children, y'all going to go through. Uh, job situation's going to go through. It's going to be some stressful and depressing time. Do I have some witnesses in here who've had some depressing times? Sometimes you didn't want to wake up. You wanted to pull the covers over your head. And you tried to make it to the church house in front and act like everything was okay, but you knew you was tore up from the floor up, but tell somebody but God. He says, here it is, he says, you're going to have suffering, but your suffering will turn into joy. 
Y'all better catch this. He never said, I'm going to replace your suffering with joy. So in, oh, the only way I can get to joy, I got to go through suffering. And in my suffering, it's going to be turned into joy. Tell somebody it's a process. Tell somebody he's done, it's not about who finishes first. It's not about who's the strongest, but it's the one who what? Endures to the end. Paul writes to the church at Corinth in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, around verses 16, 17, 18. He says, I understand my afflictions, they are short. He says, but I also understand that my afflictions are not for me just to look bad or to be picked on. But my afflictions are achieving something. They are producing something within me. Don't you know you hadn't went through things, you hadn't gone through things just to go through them? But you was going through them to be produced and to be created. You ought to look back over your, take about two seconds, look back over your life, and you ought to say, if it had not been, if it had not been, oh, y'all, 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 y'all better hear me. Everything you have gone through, all your sleepless nights, all your tears, you didn't go through it for no reason, but they were producing something. Uh, it's a message. It's a message. It's a message. I, it's a message. They were producing something. And right now, you may feel bothered. You may feel stressed over something. You may feel like, I don't know, it's like every time I go two steps forward, I take five steps back. But tell somebody, it's not in vain. Everything I've been through, it's not in vain. Everything I've seen, it's not in vain. Everything I've experienced, it's not in vain. Because it was producing. The reason I'm here right now is because of everything I've been through. All right. All right. And then he says, then he says, watch this, check this, check this. Then he says, let me give you, uh, let, let me give you a picture. Let me show you a picture. Somebody say, show me a picture, Jesus. Jesus, right in the same text, John 16 and follow, around 20, 21 verse. He says, it's like a woman. It's like a woman who, who, when her hour has come, and she is in labor. And at that moment of labor, she experiences pain. Oh, glory. But when delivery comes, Somebody shout, push! There's some things you got to push through. There's some things you got to press through. There's some things you got to get through. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man a great thing. God has in store for you. So some things you got to push through. But when the delivery of a human being came, the joy delivery far outrage the pain of the labor oh my god do I have some folk in here quiet do I have some folk in here that you've been laboring some stuff you've been talking to this person talking to that person they still don't have no answers for you you've been laboring to, to, to do some stuff but tell somebody when the delivery comes be a joy that no one can take away are y'all listening to what I'm saying but you got to go through the labor phase tell somebody I got to go through the labor phase tell somebody don't, don't get it twisted I'm okay I may not look happy all the time but, but I'm going through a labor phase I, I, God, God is getting some stuff right in my house he's getting some stuff right in my heart I had to go through this so I can see God for myself there's a labor phase there's a labor phase but whenever there's delivery that's what God says God says you may be at a moment in your life that you're in a labor phase but look at the next
neighbor again and say, it's only for a little while. Oh, y'all better hear this message. It's only for a little while. And then look at somebody tell me, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got the joy. I got the joy. I got the joy. I got the kind of joy that the world didn't give. And the world showed up. Tell somebody, show up. Yes, the world showed up. Can't take it away. Uh-uh. How? How you know that? Because it's still in the text. John 16 and 4 is still in the text. It says, you ain't asked me for nothing. You ain't asked me for nothing yet. He says, but when it comes that time, you're gonna ask my father. And everything you ask in my father's name. Yes, God. According to his will, yes. it shall be yours. Yes, yes. So do you know why Jesus came? He came to complete the joy. Yes. Even in the world of sadness, even yes. in times of pain, he says it only lasts for a little while. But your joy overrides your pain. Yes, so y'all, I'm celebrating right now because he died. Yeah, yeah, he, he died. He died. But I'm even more excited because on the third day, Smith, y'all will go to overflow.